Kumar Rocker. Very well could be the number one overall pick. How do you not take Jack Leiter number one? Jack Leiter strikes him out this time, 96 miles an hour. This is going to be a rocket ship through the minor leagues. Swing and a miss, strike three. I love Jack's mechanics. Strike three. Strike three with the curveball. Swing and a miss, strike three. A one-two punch that you rarely see in college ball. When you come to Vanderbilt and pitch, that means you think you'll be a major leaguer in five years, and more times than not, that's true. The duo of Kumar Rocker and Jack Leiter seems like it's the exception because those are elite guys on the team at the same time. It's more of the rule at Vanderbilt. Sonny Gray. Walker Bueller, Mike Miners. Bowler showing the five. David Price. The string of future major league pitchers knew they could get there through Vanderbilt because David Price did it. It's not easy to, to, to play in this program. I just don't want them to be careless males who go through life disorganized and disrespectful of other things and other people and just have no tolerance for it. Tim Corbin's more philosopher than he is coach, and I think in that way he really connects to players really well. I would say there's a lot of differences between the Jack Leiter right now and the Jack Leiter that got here. I think our relationship continues to build as I'm here every day. I think the biggest thing that he preaches and then I've taken away from him is be the same person every day. Be a consistent person every day you show up. Other than that, you can't do much more. It's two guys who, they're gonna go at the top of the draft. Maybe number one overall, maybe not. They're gonna go at the top of the draft. Vanderbilt gets a lot of top talent and they work with it to make those guys better. You know, not just physically. Talk to anybody who comes out of Vanderbilt and they'll talk about just how mentally tough those guys are too. The final series of the college baseball regular season is here between Vandy and Kentucky. Plenty to play for in these final three games across the SEC. The math of a three-game series is you got to win two. And if you're facing Kumar Rocker on night one and you're facing Jack Leiter on night two, you're already coming into the series thinking, what have I gotten into? Here we go, 80 degrees and gorgeous in Nashville. Kumar Rocker starts him off with a breaking ball. Every time Vanderbilt pitches, you know, there, there's a bunch of scouts there. And he's down 0-2. Back-to-back off speeds from Rocker. I, I don't think the pressure gets to him, really. Three pitches, three strikes. Kamar Rocker wins the battle with TJ Collette. Pressure is really how you perceive it. It's amazing what happens to humans when they gain confidence. And it's amazing to see humans when they don't have it at all. Roads to left. Because they're two different people and the actions of those people are, are completely different. Swing and a miss, strike three. The first time I got a taste of Vanderbilt, one of my best friends took me to the Super Regional against Oregon. I sat in the outfield, and uh, that was the first time I was like, oh, these guys got some like swagger to them. Yeah! He was one or two as the top high school player in the country. My parents came from India to give us a better life. They gave us an education. To not have that for Kamar, just, it doesn't make sense for me. Lou said to me at that time, she goes, I know you hear this from parents, but my son's going to school. Kumar said nothing. While I was sitting there, I thought, he's, you know, he's quiet, he's not engaged, not coming to school. We say our pleasantries, we get up and leave, and just as we were about to leave, he sits up and he goes, can I say one thing? I'm going to be the best teammate you've ever coached at Vanderbilt. And I said, really? He goes, yes. It was my time to speak up and I'm just, hey, I enjoy being on a team. I love being the best teammate possible. This is what I kind of live for. Swing and a miss, strike three. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss, strike three. Rockers 12th straight out. Seventh inning, 2-2 two -two ball game. Depending on how he's feeling, you gotta think. Could this be his last inning? Two shakes from Rocker in the 2-2. Two -two. Bunted, foul! If that's Rocker's last regular season pitch in college, <laughs> what a way to end it. <laughs> two and one, another close take.
Snyder will have a chance to answer tomorrow night in his final regular season start as a draft eligible sophomore. 82 degrees, sunny, perfect conditions for ball as we get going on this Friday night. You know, Jack Leiter could have had $3 million, $4 million bonus, you know, if he was willing to sign out of high school. Jack had the bloodlines as son of Al Leiter. Leiter done it. He had good feel for pitching. And then he kept getting better, and he, and he threw harder as a high school senior. He wound up at Vanderbilt, obviously. Kamar Rocker went seven innings last night in his likely final regular season start as a Commodore. Same story for Jack Leiter tonight as Vanderbilt's co-aces go through their final regular season series. When I was four or five years old, I asked one of my classmates what team his dad played for because the four-year-old me thought that everyone played professional baseball. As I started getting older, my dreams started to become a little bit clearer that I wanted to do what my dad did. Vanderbilt seemed like the right choice for me. From the time I was little, it kind of became a dream when they won the national championship in 2014, and guys like Dansby Swanson were there, and earlier on, Price. Vanderbilt in the 90s and early 2000s was underfunded and it had no aspirations of getting to the College World Series. Tim Corbin came to Vanderbilt with his eyes on Omaha and he made no bones about that. I love baseball, but not as much as I like teaching young males who are innocent and pliable and the cement's not dry where you still can shape them. Tim Corbin sold the vision to David Price and most people at that point were not buying it. You know, it really wasn't a place I ever thought about going. You know, I remember probably my freshman year in high school, you know, my brother asking me like, why don't you go to Vanderbilt and play baseball? I was like, no way, like they're not, they're not very good. I said, you're not renting this, you're going to help build this. And that, that made some sense to him. To me, it kind of related to the way I would play video games, I guess, in a sense. You know, whenever you'd create your player, I would always put them on, you know, the worst team and try and, and make that worst team, you know, just uh, a whole lot better. You know, I needed um, somebody to, to hold me very accountable, and that's what Coach Corbin does. It was tough going from, you know, public school in Murfreesboro at Blackman High to uh, private school at Vanderbilt and playing college baseball. You know, I went from Gatorade Player of the Year to just another pitcher, you know, on the team. School was really giving it to me at the time. That was a shock to my system. One night, I just um, felt like it had gotten to a boiling point, and you know, I had called Coach Corbin to tell him I was Gonna quit playing baseball and just wanted to be normal. Just go and work at McDonald's and be normal, normal kid, normal student, just uh, kind of live life. And he came in and you could tell he'd been up all night. He said, for you to take this opportunity right here, academically and athletically, and trade it in for a working opportunity, I said, I think it's the best decision you ever made in your life. And he stopped crying. And he looked at me, he goes, you mean that? And I said, absolutely, I don't mean it. That's the last time I ever talked to him about confidence again. In the first round, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays select David Price, a left-handed pitcher from Vanderbilt University, Nashville, Tennessee. What David did is he gave Vanderbilt a name, a brand. It was something that, wow, okay, he can go there, then I should start looking at Vanderbilt as a potential option. I'd say David just put Vanderbilt baseball in general on the map. I was watching from high school, and I knew that's kind of where I wanted to go. The delivery. Swing and a miss for three. Dreams do come true. The Vanderbilt Commodores are college baseball's national champions. The celebration begins in Commodore Nation. Tonight, it's Jack Leiter taking the mound for the Commodores. Leiter is a draft-eligible sophomore projected to be a top-five pick this July. David Price, I think, started the cycle of Vanderbilt pitcher. Called strike, one and two. You turn down a lot of money out of high school. You come to Vanderbilt. You pitch really well. Breaking ball for a called strike three. 
and then when you get to the majors, you come back and you show all the recruits what can be done if you come to Vanderbilt. And that cycle has just continued ever since then. Called strike, two and one. Called strike three. I definitely wasn't always the best or most dominant player on my teams. I was on the smaller side physically. Jack Leiter strikes him out this time, freezing him with the slider. You kind of always carry that chip on your shoulder from the times when, you know, I was batting seventh, eighth, or ninth on, on my baseball team and um, not even pitching even though I wanted to. And just put your head down and continue to work harder and prove people wrong. Off strike, one and one on Cam Hill. A lot of it's mental. I always continue to polish the, the mental side of it. There was some trepidation when he committed. When I looked at it, and there was 12 incoming pitchers, and they already had 20 pitchers. He just wanted to know. He goes, it's my kid. If he comes to a place like this, is he ever going to get on the field? And I said, I can't guarantee that. He's going to do whatever he's capable of doing. If he's got confidence in himself, then he will find his way on the field. Swing and a miss, strike three. Strikeout number eight for Leiter. Bandy two, Kentucky two, Jack Leiter done for the Commodores after six innings, eight strikeouts, and 89 pitches tonight. Another long ball, three-run homer to widen the lead. Got him, Bandy boys win. One in the SEC East now. Woo! I always felt like inside this program, I just wanted to help build kids that I would have marry my daughters. Just using baseball as really as a foundation to do other things. The heart of that is, is trying to be good people and, and good men and good baseball players as well. And that's something that Corbs isn't gonna, isn't gonna let die anytime soon. If you talk to people in that program, like they, they, they'll talk not just about the winning and the success, but about how they became better people. The brotherhood that's developed here over the years, it's a really cool thing. Even after you leave here, you're still a Bandy boy. Bandy boys, yeah! Bandy boys is who we are.